to another episode of Last Minute Laura. I'm Laura and today I am going to show you how to make these super easy slippers. So I made these because my basement's a little chilly, that's the truth. It was suggested by a couple of people in the live stream and basically I've been putting off making them because I hate making pairs. Does anyone else get that second sock syndrome or second mitten syndrome or second sleeve syndrome? By the time I get to the second piece in a pair, I'm usually sick of it. Not so much with these ones. I'm gonna be honest with you. This pattern is so easy. It works up. I'm gonna say you can make a pair in about an hour. For a beginner, maybe give yourself two hours, but this is a great option for Christmas gifts. It's a great option for Christmas markets. If any of you are makers, this is an awesome option. So I'm about a size seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, depending on the brand of shoe. So that is the size I am going to be making today. However, I'll let you know at different points where you can extend adding more rows in order to make it longer if your feet aren't quite like mine. So let's get started. First things first, you're gonna need a crochet hook. I am starting with a 5.5 millimeter red heart crochet hook today. It's just a, it's just an aluminum hook. That's what I'm using. You could use five millimeters, you could use six millimeters, anywhere in that sort of a range. I am doing rather tight stitches for mine and a little bit of a modified double crochet stitch. So you can play around with it. It's really easy to modify. You're also gonna need some yarn. I am using this super chunky wool. Um, this is actually, my sister picked it up for me at an antique market. It's Greek wool. It's got a Greek label on it and it's, um, it's some antique Greek wool, which is kind of cool. She got me nine balls of it. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough for a sweater because they're not very much per ball, but it's perfect for this little project. You're also gonna need a yarn needle just to weave in your ends, and you'll need some scissors just to trim up those ends. So, to get started, we're going to need a slip knot just like everything. Excuse the dirt, I just repotted some plants and now my table has dirt on it, so do my nails. But now my plants are more happy. All right, after the slip knot, we are going to chain, I think this is the wrong size hook to be honest. Dang it, I'm using a five millimeter. I was just feeling it in my hand. I just made this one for the, uh, for the first one and um, this felt wrong. So five millimeter hook is what I'm using. You can definitely use a 5.5. All right, so after your slip knot, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Then we're going to double crochet nine times into the first chain stitch. So not the first chain from the hook, the first chain stitch we made. So we're gonna do nine more double crochets. So one, two, three, and nine. That chain three at the beginning is going to act as a double crochet as well, so you actually have 10 stitches going around this round. Then you grab on to the top stitch of your first, of that chain three of your first stitch and slip stitch the round together. Now you've got a circle. For the next round, round number two, we're gonna start by chaining three, one, two, and three. And then we're going to double crochet two times in each stitch around. We're gonna want 20 stitches in the end. So that counts as one. Then we're gonna go two, three, 19, The 20th stitch is going to be going into the initial stitch where you chained three out of. And that chain is going to be the second double crochet in that first stitch. So now we're gonna attach the round with a slip stitch again. We've got 20 stitches around now. We're gonna do three chains again to start that row. And now we're going to do double crochet in the first and second stitch, and then two double crochets in the third stitch. 
double crochet in the fourth and fifth stitch, two double crochet in the sixth stitch. And we're just going to do that all the way around. So I'm starting with one double crochet in the first stitch, one double crochet in the second stitch. And you'll notice here, I've done a little bit of a variation on my double crochet. Rather than inserting my hook into the top of the stitch like normal so that you're just getting two loops on your hook, I'm actually inserting my hook through the entire space between the two double crochet stitches. So you've got a double crochet there, a double crochet there. I'm going to be sticking my hook right in that big stitch. This makes it so easy to do this pattern because there's never any mess up with your, um, with your stitches. It's so easy to, to figure out where to put your stitch and it's a good project to be doing while watching a movie or I don't know, while having a conversation, something like that. You don't need to be fully engaged with this one, which is kind of awesome. I do love a project that doesn't need my entire attention. And this is definitely one of those. So I'm going around the round doing double crochet, double crochet, two double crochet. And then double crochet, double crochet, and then two double crochet. And this is just going to expand the round just a bit. We don't want it to be like a full circle. This is where we're going to start working out the toe. This is gonna be the tip of the toe in our sock, our slipper. One, two, and then we're gonna do two double crochets in that stitch. And then we're gonna do one in the next, and one in the next, and then two in the next stitch. And when you make it back to your first stitch, one in the next, one in the next, and then we're going to do one additional in that last stitch so that we end up with that first stitch being our two in the beginning. And then you see when you pull it out, you've got like a nice little circle. The gaps in between the stitches are maybe a little bit more visible, but I think it looks nice that way. And now we're going to chain three again, one, two, and three. And guess what? For round number four, all the way through round number 12, we're gonna just double crochet around. It's no changes from here until round number 12. So from four to 12, double crochet all the way around, one double crochet in each stitch around. Easy peasy. You'll see really quickly that it begins to turn into like a tube that you can put your foot in. If you find that 12 doesn't quite get you, a very long sock, or if it doesn't make it all the way up your foot, you can make it 13 rounds, you can make it 14 rounds, however long you need it to be to get all the way up to where you'd want the sock to curve, to turn into the top of your foot where you want it to turn to your ankle. So just double crochet around. I'm gonna do my 12 rounds and then I will show you what it should look like, what length you should be looking at before we do the next set of rows. So I'll see you back here once you finish your 12 rounds. Hey, and while you're here, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I put out new videos all the time. I'd like to say it's every day, but not quite every day. It's most days though. From Monday to Friday, I live stream from 7 a.m. Eastern time until around 8.30 a.m. We just have our tea, we get started with our day, have a little chit chat. It's a really nice community there, so if you're looking for some people to talk to about yarn, plants, crafts, whatever, that's definitely a good spot to look. I also put out edited videos like these on Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays, so definitely check back for that if you're new here. Hit the little bell icon too, because then you'll just get a notification when I put out a new video, and you won't have to go looking. And, holy moly with the self promo here, don't forget to hit the like button. It really does help the channel out and we are on a huge upswing right now. 20,000 subscribers, can you believe it? It really freaks me out quite a bit, but at the same time, I'm very grateful and I love all of you. Having all of you here is so appreciated and 
I don't really know how to say it, but thank you for subscribing to those of you who are subscribed and to those of you who are new, join us. It's a fun community and we do a lot of makes. Okay, now I'll leave you alone with the promotion. Go back to your crochet and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so at this point, we've got this sort of <laughs> baby hat or little basket or whatever you wanna call it. This is our toe area. So I'm just gonna show you what it should be at. Um, first of all, check out my chihuahua socks. See, it's like thunder. Okay, um, so at this point, when you put it onto your foot, you want it to be not quite at the bend of your ankle. Here's where it bends. You want maybe an inch of space before the bend of your ankle. This is where we're going to start shaping the boot to be more shoe-like. We're gonna be leaving a little gap here so that you can get it on and off and that's where we're going to be making the ankle come up a little bit on that shoe. So at this point you want maybe an inch, maybe a little less than an inch because again this also is going to stretch and you're gonna pull it on so it's gonna end up being a little bit closer up to the top anyway. And you can see it's nice and loose, good for slipping on and off. So that's me at 12 rows. If you've got a little bit of bigger feet and it's looking a little bit more like that, you can add a few more rows just to bring it up to here. If you've got teeny tiny feet and it's already way up at your ankle, take a few rows away. But for about a size eight foot, you're gonna look at about 12 rows of double crochet. So now let's go back to the overhead shot so I can show you what we're gonna do for the next step. Okay, so now we are on round number 13. We're going to start with a chain three, one, two, three, and now we're going to double crochet into the first 20 stitches. So we're gonna start with that first one right here. One, two, three, 20, which should give us 21. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. And now that was round number 13. We're gonna chain two, one and two, and we're gonna turn. And now from row number 14 to row number 22, we're just gonna double crochet across. Nothing fancy, same style double crochet through the big gap stitch. Just for row numbers 14 to 22, we're gonna double crochet across. I'm gonna show you what this is looking like after I get to row 22 because you definitely have the opportunity to make this fewer rows. You can finish at 20. You can keep going until 24, depending on the length of your foot. Basically, when you put this on your foot, you're gonna want it to go all the way to the end of your ankle, to the end of your heel. And I'll show you what that's looking like on me after I get done my 22 rows. All right, so I just finished my row 22. And now we are going to get the big finishing touches done. So first, you can see here that it kind of looks more like a shoe now, it's getting some shoe vibes to it. Don't judge me because I don't want to move the camera. But you stick your foot in, you want it to go behind your ankle and you want it to be at least long enough to fit comfortably around your ankle because we're going to sew this part together now. So that's the next step. You can sew single crochet or slip stitch together this seam. So I'm going to do slip stitches because I like how it looks, uh, but you are more than welcome to do whatever works for you in this situation. All right, so I've looped the working loop through the first stitch on both sides and now I'm just going to go all the way across until I make my way down to the uh, the joining edge I guess and then I'm going to do a chain one pull it through and snip my yarn and that will be something that we're going to weave in at the end. And now we're gonna turn the whole project right side out. There we go. And now you can see it looks like a little shoe. It looks like a little boot. 
You could leave it like this. This is totally fine. Honestly, this is a cute little slipper and this is gonna work for a lot of people. But what I like to do is add a little cuff to that. So I'm gonna reattach my yarn. I'm gonna pick any place to reattach and I'm gonna loop the yarn in and then I'm gonna chain one, chain two, chain three. And now I'm gonna double crochet all the way around. One thing I am going to do though, where those two pieces meet, here and here, I'm going to double crochet them together just to keep it extra secure at that seam. I like to double crochet together here and I find that it gives me a really nice finish on these booties. But that's the only thing that I do that's like, I don't know, a little special on these booties is I double crochet the back seam stitches together. Other than that, I'm just double crocheting around, one double crochet in each stitch around. Depending on how many rows you do, this number is gonna change for how many stitch around it is, so don't really concern yourself with how many. Uh, just keep it consistent between your two uh, slippers. As long as your two slippers come out the same, it doesn't really matter how many stitches you've got here. There we go. Coming around that corner now. And again, you could just do one round like this, this double crochet that I'm doing around the edge, uh, but I like to do four rounds. I think four rounds is a perfect amount to give you kind of like a little ankle coverage and also to allow for some slouchiness. So I like for my slippers to slouch on and be super casual and cozy, and I find the four rounds is perfect for that. That being said, you're more than welcome to add more rounds. If you wanna make it like, I don't know, knee length, you could keep going, you could bring this up all the way to your knee. Like I said, it's totally up to you. But for me, for this time, I'm gonna do four rounds in double crochet. Okay, so I've just finished my four rounds of double crochet around that uh, ankle opening or foot opening. And now the last step is going to be slip stitching around one round. So we're gonna finish with a chain one to bring us up to the next round, round number five if you're keeping track. And then we're gonna do slip stitches, really loose ones. Don't forget, keep it super loose. You don't wanna make these difficult to pull on or take off. And we're doing the slip stitches in the big gap stitches between the two double crochets. This is gonna fill that space in and give it a nice finished look. So I'm just gonna zoom through those and then guess what? It's time for the final reveal. So, drum roll please. Ta-da! Here they are, the comfy cozy one hour slippers. In my bullet journal, I had them as two hour slippers but really, it's been about 45 minutes for me to do this one, and that includes explaining the instructions, moving the camera around and whatnot. So I really do think you can get a pair of these knocked out in about an hour while you're watching TV or something. What do you think? Aren't they sweet? I think they really will make a great gift for Christmas time or for the holidays. I think it's a great option if you're um, a crafter who goes to craft markets. This is a great option because they're super quick and they're really cute, and I think people are gonna love these ones. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and let me know how you fared with it. If it was easy, if you had a hard time, let me know. I love hearing from you guys. But anyways, friends, that is all from me for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it, and I really hope you'll come back tomorrow to see some more Last Minute Laura stuff. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking the video, and thank you for subscribing. Have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.